Hi, um, this is me doing my third part of my DVD collection. Um, but first I have a question. Like, my hair is like curly, kind of, it's really crabby right now because I just took a shower. But I want to know when I'm 18 because my parents said I can't get them until like I move out of the house. I want to know if you guys thought I would look at them dreadlocks because I really want to get them really bad. I have no idea why. I just do. I mean, I know once I get them, I can't redo them or undo them, but I just want to do a pan in. Okay, here we go. Um, back with the R's. Um, first I have is um, the ring two. Um, I really like this one. I thought it was really creepy, especially how she like crawled out of the well. That was really awesome. I love Naomi Watts. She's awesome. And, um, Sam Baker, he's, he's cool in this one, too. But overall, it was a really good film. I liked the ending, too. That was cool. I liked when, um, Rachel pulled the, I don't know what it would be called, but that thread with the sucky thing attached, I don't know. Like, when she pulled it out, that was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, then I have the first one, the ring. Um... This is awesome. I, I don't know why. It was just really awesome. I really liked it. Um, directed by Gore Verbinski. Um, Naomi Watts is in it again with the first one, obviously. And um, I love the girl who played Samara. I don't know her name. I forgot what it was. But she's like awesome. This movie scared me when I first saw it. Like, I didn't go my, near my TV for like a week. And I have the original Japanese version, Ringu, or how recent. Um, this is directed by, I'm gonna like murder this, Hideo Na Na Nakata? Nakata? I, I don't even know. But I really like it. Like, Samara's eye, like, there's this one scene where, like, it's a close up of Samara's eye, and she's like, ugh. That scared me so bad. Like, I think the original one scared me more than the remake did. Just because it's, I think it's better. Next is the amazing Repo, the genetic opera. I love this movie so much. I love Alexa Vega. Or wait, that's not her name. That's her sister, right? No, it's Alexa Vega. Yeah. Oh, Mackenzie Vega is her sister. Okay, never mind. Bill Mosley is awesome. Um... Anthony Stewart Head is really awesome. I love Terrence Zudnick. Is that how you say it? I don't know, but I thought it was really cool in this, so. I thought this movie is awesome. The music was awesome. Darren Lynn Bowsman directed it. Um, I just like everything about this. I thought it was really awesome. Okay, then I have... Um... Psycho, the original. Um, I love this movie. I love that Janet Leigh's in it. Oh wait. No. Never mind. Oh my god. Wait, this is the wrong one. Oh my god, whatever. Never mind. Um, this isn't the original one. That is really crappy. I thought it was. Well, whatever. I still like it anyway. I like Psycho. Um, it's really awesome. I like it. And this is the Psycho triple feature. It has Psycho 2, 3, and 4, the beginning. Um, Anthony Perkins is amazing. I love him. He's really good playing, um, Norman Bates. But Henry Thomas, isn't he the one in E.T., the little kid? Dude, he was, he was cool in Psycho 4. I like that. I like it. Um, then I have Poltergeist 2 and 3. Um, I've always been a fan of Poltergeist films. I don't know why, I just like paranormal shit and like Poltergeist stuff. I think it's awesome. Heather O'Rourke, I think is how you say it. She is 
so like creepy. I love her though. I think it's really sad that she died though. But um, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I have the original one. First one. Um, this one. I don't know why. The first time I saw it, I thought it was really awesome. I really liked it. I watched it a couple, like a year ago. Like again, and I still thought it was awesome. I love the music, like the theme, like with the little kids. Ah, uh, I don't know. That's really awesome. Then I have Vincent Price in The Pit and the Pendulum. It's an Edgar Allan Poe poem. Um, I, I liked it. It was uh, made in 1961. 61. I don't know if I pronounced that good. But um, it's directed by Roger Corman. Um, I just thought it was really awesome. I really liked it. It was kind of hard to get through. Because it seemed really long to me, even though it really isn't. It's just like two hours, exactly. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's not two hours long. Well, it seemed like it was two hours long. Then I have, with ending this review, is it's, this isn't a horror film, but it's one of my favorite films. Um, Pineapple Express. 2008, I think. I'm pretty sure it's 2008. But, um... It was directed by David Gordon Green. And, um, set, starring Seth Rogen, James Franco, um... Danny McBride, I think, is his name. Yeah. And, um, Gary Cole, um... That... Right, guy. It doesn't say his name on here, but I know he's in it though. Craig Robinson, that's, the, that's his name, and Rosie Perez. This movie is so funny to me. I think it's so funny. I love James Franco. I named my cat after his character Saul. Yeah, that's how much I love the movie. But this is the end of my third part of my review. Sorry if it wasn't that good. I kind of was a little thrown off by that psycho DVD. But that's okay. Um, join me back for the fourth one.